Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial and this is all related to the Kubernetes and you can see like we are running something called K9S. I don't know whether you heard about K9S, but we'll be talking about that in this tutorial. So if you don't know what is K9S, let's get started on that. So you can see I'm into the documentation for K9S CLI.io where you can see what this K9S means. It's a Kubernetes CLI to manage your cluster in style. So it's more, more like a terminal based UI to interact with your Kubernetes cluster. So if you have a Kubernetes cluster, you can uh, use K9S to interact, uh, not just a UI directly, but even in the terminal, you will get a UI where it makes easier for you to navigate, observe, or manage your deployed applications. And uh, there are a lot of features in the K9S, so I'm not uh, going to talk about each and everything, you know, uh, because I'm not doing this part of any promotion or anything. I found this very interesting, so I wanted to share uh, this information with you guys. So how to set up K9S? That's the main question which will be coming to your end, like how I can set this up. So in order to set up the K9S uh, or installing the K9S, what you can do is there are two ways. You can run it as a Docker container. So you can use the Docker run command and you can use the K9S uh, uh, the image. So you can uh, use this command where I have an iPhone arm is to remove uh, the machine once you are done, uh, but you can configure it based on our new. Or if you are running as the installation for your Linux machine, you can use the other command to get the wget to download the tar file, and you can unzip it and you can move it to your local pin. So in both ways, you can set up K9S, and once you set up, you can start running uh, the commands to see it. Let me show you how to do that. So let me go to my uh, Kubernetes system. So if you see uh, in my screen, I am uh, running Minikube uh, where I have installed my Kubernetes and uh, if I see my Kubernetes ports and other status, you can see the, all the information like uh, the ports and what are the deployments I'm running. So let me show you that. Okay, so you can see I have a deployment, I have a port running and uh, if I See, see the namespace okay it's uh keep ctl get and as so you can see the different namespace so all these uh, things you can see i'm running a kubernetes uh, cluster and if i uh, i have already installed the uh, k9s so you can use as a docker container but uh, since i'm running a linux machine i run it as a package and i have installed it so once you install it i can just uh, run k9s and you can see it's starting up and you can see currently i'm in the section for pod right and you can see on the bottom it says pod and from the pod you can go to the next stages like if you want to see more about the pod i can go to x-ray sorry about that let me see so currently uh, i'm in the pod and if i want to switch to a different uh, character you just to use uh, these commands if you go to the documentation you can see different commands we can use so i will show you uh, some of the commands so you can go to the commands section i will link all this into the video description you can see the help command info and you have see uh, different commands like getting alias uh, how to go to the pod and how to filter it uh, and different things right so you have to use uh, the, the column uh, to get into that. So if I want to change now to cluster role, I will just write cluster role and just enter. You can see it shows all the details of the cluster role, right? And if I want to change to deployments, I will just uh, enter deployment and you can see it's uh, in the deployment now. And also the same thing like if I am in the pod, you can see I'm in the pod, but I want to get a tree uh, kind of structure using X-ray. I uh, will use uh, X-ray and uh, pod. So you can see it's uh, given me a tree kind of structure where it, it goes in depth to different uh, parameters of it. So you can easily uh, you know, see all these things here uh, using the K9S and there are more commands. You can see like to get namespace, you have uh, different other commands, uh, how to use uh, the K9S and you can also see the different kind of examples here like uh, to get the cluster all uh, the pulses you can use pulses so let me see that pulses if you go to pulses 
you can see it's uh, showing the deployment replica set all these like a uh, uh, graphical information right you have uh, 88 events you have eight parts uh, you have two replica set you have uh, two deployment so all these informations are here and uh, it's it looks very nice right so it's like a, it's not a complete uh, graphical interface uh, UI interface but it's still uh, like uh, in terminal you can use all these commands to get like a graphical interface uh, the details which you want uh, like a uh, UI so this is a very good uh, one if you have, if you want to see logs you can see logs as well so if I go to ports and if I go to logs you can see but there are no logs uh, now that's why you don't see anything but if you have logs you can get those information as well so there are multiple ways you can use this uh, you have this R back right if you go, uh, go to cluster role and you can go to rules you can get more information or you can get all these details let's just try that uh, cluster role and uh, rules huh? sorry about that so we are back to the cluster roles you can search uh, with the rules you can see like if I type start something about the things you can start getting what uh, rules you have and uh, I'm also not an expert on this so I'm just trying out as well so I would say like you can try this out uh, I don't know it may be useful for you so it's a nice thing to try out new things and you can find out uh, if it's useful it's good you can share the feedback if not uh, don't use it so it's just an uh, informational video where it can be helpful for you but I feel like it's a good one like a UI based uh, system for managing your Kubernetes cluster which is uh, not that much available so so that's all for this video and uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you will like this video give your uh, feedback in the comment section I also subscribe to my video share and uh, give your uh, like uh, by li giving it the thumbs up on the video so thanks for thanks guys